Okay, it is time for a quick intro to the skin cast silicones. I've just introduced uh, a few different techniques over the, the last couple of tutorials. So I thought it'd be a good time to just kind of take a station break, so to speak, and just explain what the basic formulas are. Uh, we have two skin cast formulas as of this uh, video. One is our, what I, we refer to as a firm gel in the product description. And firm gel is of course relative. So when you see that firm gel nomenclature, know that that does not mean like a high shore A value. That is firm in relation to the double O and the triple O scale. So this is the firm gel. So this is very, very soft uh, by silicone standards. But for a gel, that is what would typically be referred to as a firm gel. Now, so that is the SkinCast 0010. Now, the SkinCast 0005 by itself is really too soft to make a, a part by itself. So typically we encapsulate that. So this is actually gel 00 on the outside and then the SkinCast uh, 0005 on the inside, if that makes sense. So uh, I'm going to link to the two videos where I made these so you can see those two uh, different formulas in action, so to speak. But uh, that's an important thing to know that the, the 0005, we'll go ahead and refer to it that way. In fact, I've, I've labeled uh, some of the containers. I've added that to our new labeling just to make that a little bit easier to nail down which one you need. The 0005 is the softer, the um, 0010 is the firmer gel. But again, by itself, the soft is so soft, typically that's used in uh, conjunction with an encapsulating material like that. And even the, the tin, I typically encapsulate with something just because that is so soft. So just for clarity, this is the, the 0005 that's encapsulated, and this is the 0010 that's not. So that, it, to that is going to initially appear to be softer just because that doesn't have any kind of encapsulating layer. But here it is by itself. The 0010 is very soft and squishy. You can pour up parts with this by itself, but just remember that uh, this is a fairly fragile silicone. When you start dropping down into that really low double O or triple O scale, you start to lose a lot of those tear strength properties. So this would rarely be used by itself. We do have some customers that do this for like bre uh, breast cancer simulators where they're uh, feeling for lumps and things like that. But again, by itself, it's so soft, it's typically not a practical formula to use as a standalone silicone. So that's what it's like there. Now this can be used, like if you were to cast organs or something like that, you could get away with that, but just know it's very soft. Now, the 0005 is even softer. You can already tell there, that's just, you can put your finger almost right down to the workbench there uh, with, with very little effort. So that 0005 is really soft. And this is, if I were to pull just a little bit, it's probably gonna uh, pop off a chunk of it there. So by itself, very fragile. Again, there might be some applications I'm not familiar with that could use that by itself, but just be aware that you would not wanna try to use this as a silicone uh, to make a part by itself. Typically this is used as a filler material inside an encapsulator like this. So in this instance we have the really tough uh, gel double O on the outside and underneath we have that really soft gel. And that's one of the ways you can really accurately simulate realistic organic tissue is by putting that soft like a fatty tissue layer underneath and then have that external layer that's uh, a little bit firmer so you get that more realistic like your actual skin where it can you have a tough outside layer and that fatty tissue underneath so so these are very good formulas but it's important to remember their application areas and just like any silicone there's no one silver bullet silicone there's silicones that have very specific application areas and uh, areas where they excel better than others so so the the 0010 is the slightly firmer formula, and the 0005 is the really soft, typically the one that you would encapsulate. And uh, we'll be putting out some more tutorials with those, but uh, just wanted to make sure that was clear. And like I said, I've uh, went ahead for the sake of this video and just put the 0005 on that and the, the 0010 on these bottles, just to make that a little bit clearer. And if you go on our website and look, search 
SkinCast silicones, uh, you'll see those labeled accordingly. But uh, be aware of that. Those have a, a very unique place in our silicone arsenal, so to speak, that uh, for making really realistic organic parts, especially medical simulators. And again, at the end of this, I'm going to link to the two other tutorials that uh, we just posted explaining the basic use of those two formulas.